everyone, it's Miss A, and today we're going to be playing a bug spotting game to work on our speech sounds and our language skills. So parents, you can either draw some bugs, so I drew like a grasshopper, a butterfly, a bumblebee. I drew some different bugs, and bugs are a great way to work on multisyllabic words or words that have lots of sound. It requires our mouth to move a lot. So instead of calling this a bee, I would call it a bumblebee. And a great way to work on this is doing three dots. So friends, you can touch each dot that your parents write down for you and go bumblebee. This one requires my mouth to go together a lot. Let me hear you say it. Good job, it's a bumblebee. And this one is a grasshopper. We have grass. Hopper. Grasshopper. You try. Another thing you can do is tap. Grasshopper. So we have all these different ones. How about this bug? It's a ladybug. So our tongue goes up. Ladybug. Let's tap it out. Ladybug. So a lot of these bugs have three different parts to their words. So to work on this, I can put all of my bugs down. I'm gonna use real bugs, but at home, you can play along and draw some bugs. You can pause the video and you can draw a ladybug. Let's talk about the ladybug while you're drawing. A ladybug, what color is it? Yeah, it's red and black. And a ladybug has spots. It's a bug that flies. So it's a ladybug is the name. The colors are red and black. It has spots and it flies. So that's our ladybug. The next bug you can draw is a bumblebee or a bee. What color is the bumblebee? Yeah, it's yellow and black. And ladybugs have spots, but bees have leaves. Does anyone know what these are called? Yeah, they're stripes. So bees are their name, or a bumblebee. They have stripes, they're black and yellow, and they have wings to fly, just like a ladybug has wings to fly. Does anyone know what this bug is? This one's our grasshopper. Grasshoppers are green and they hop. Sometimes they can fly short distances, but we're gonna say they hop. So it's a grasshopper, it's green, and it hops. These two fly. So I'm gonna put them in two different places. Next we have a dragonfly. Let's try that, dragonfly. Dragonfly, this one's blue, but some are purple or different colors. They're kind of shiny. They have a long tail, three legs, one, two, three, and two big eyes and two wings. What do you think dragonflies do? They don't hop, they fly. And next we have a, what is this? Yeah, it's a butter. Fly. Butterflies, just like their name, fly. And they're different colors. Some are orange, some are purple, some are white. Where would I put this one? Does it hop or does it fly? Yeah, it flies. But if I have, those are all the bugs I have that are big in 3D where I can pick them up and see them. But if I were to talk about some other bugs, this one's called a caterpillar. Now, a caterpillar has a lot of sounds too. Let's try them. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. That one's tricky. So a caterpillar can be different colors. A lot of times they're green and they have long bodies and they have these little legs. Do you think a caterpillar crawls or walks? Oh, Miss A, silly Miss A. Does a caterpillar fly or walk? 
Yeah, it walks. So I'd put it with the grasshopper who hops. They both stay on the ground. They don't go in the sky to fly. Another bug we have, a worm. I'm putting it with bugs because they're creepy and crawly. So a worm is a little bit different than most bugs. So a worm is usually pink or brown and slimy and it has one sound, worm. One part to the word, worm. Does the worm fly or crawl? Yeah, they stay on the ground or under the ground and crawl. So those are lots of, ooh, another good bug. We might see these a lot in our kitchen sometimes. They come in our house and they crawl or at a picnic. Yeah, it's an ant. You try. Ant. And an ant has some legs. They're usually black. Sometimes they're red. Where would I put the ant? Yeah, do they crawl or fly? Yeah, they crawl or walk. So those are our different bugs. Now to play the bug game, I'm gonna leave some of the pictures out here too, but I'm gonna add some sounds with our bugs. So I'm gonna add our g or our back sound to it, g, and then we're gonna be making big sounds and sentences with all of our bugs. Okay, get your fly swatters ready if you have them at home. If you don't have a fly swatter, you can use your hand and pretend to hit the bug where I make big sentences. Okay, we need to hit the bug that flies, is red, and has spots. What bug is it? Yeah, it's a ladybug. <gasps> ready? You tell me. Hit the ladybug. Your turn. All right. Hit. What did the ladybug have? It's not a boy, it's a girl. And for a girl, would we say he or she? Yeah, she. So we could say a sentence about the picture. If you're working on sentences, we could say, she is a girl. You tell me. And if we're just working on that good sound, we're gonna open our mouth wide first and then put our tongue back. We go, girl. You try, girl. That one's trickier. Our tongue goes back and then it moves forward for that er and l. Girl. It should end with your tongue behind your teeth. One more time, girl. Now you tell me. Make sure I'm trying those sounds. Okay, let's find another bug. I'm looking for a bug that buzzes and makes honey. Which one is it? Yeah, it's a bumblebee. Let's try those sounds. Bumblebee. You try. All right. Okay, you tell me. Hit the bumblebee. I hit it. Uh-oh. Bye, bumblebee. Hmm, look, I found a game. You tell me, game. Make sure that tongue is back, mouth open first. Game, let's try to make a sentence about a game. Hmm, what do you do with a game? Do you eat it? No, you play with it. Let's make a sentence. I play a game, you tell me. Good job with the other sentence. All right, let's find another bug. Hmm. I'm looking for a bug that hops in the grass. Which bug is it? Yeah, it's a grasshopper. Let's try those sounds. Remember, we can tap out our sounds. Grasshopper. Grasshopper. That one's a tricky one. If you're having a hard time at home, you can just drop the sounds and work on grass. Or just the vowels. Ah, ah, er. Ah, ah, er. That one's a really tricky word. Okay, what should I do the grasshopper? Yeah, hit the grasshopper. <gasps> I hit it. Oh, look what the grasshopper had. Kind of 
looks like a fence, but it has the door. This is called a gate. You try tongue back first, and then it goes up. This one's tricky. Get your mouth open. Gate. Gate. Good job telling. This is a gate. Let's make a sentence about the gate. Hmm. Can you think of one? I like those ideas. My sentence is going to be, I go through the gate. Did I make my good go sound? Not a tate, but a gate. I got my mouth open that second time. All right, we have two more bugs. Hmm. This one's tricky. They both fly. I'm looking for a bug that starts off as a caterpillar. Does anyone know which bug starts as a caterpillar before it turns into the bug it is now? What bug is it? Yeah, it's a butterfly. This one has a lot of our tricky sounds. Our lips start together. Mmm, b, b, ter. Our tongue goes up. B, ter. And then for the last part, fly, which a butterfly does, it flies. We bite our lip. F, lie. Our tongue goes up after. F, lie. Let's put it all together. B, ter. Fly. Okay, what should I do with the butterfly? Hit the butterfly. I hit it. What does the butterfly have? It has a ghost. Can you tell me about the ghost? What's the sentence we would say about it? Mm, I like those. I'm going to say the ghost is scary. Let's try ghost one more time. Our mouth starts open and back. Our tongue comes up behind our teeth for s and then goes up for t. Let's try it together. Ghost. Ghost. All right, we have one last bug. This bug also flies and they usually live near the water. Does anyone remember what this bug is called? Hmm. I think one of you got it. It's called a dragonfly. That one's really tricky. Let's slow it down. D, d. Our tongue goes up. Then we kiss our lips. Dragonfly. Again, a dragonfly flies like a butterfly and has fly at the end. Let's try just fly. Bite that lip. Then our tongue goes up. Fly. One more time. Try fly. Fly. Nice job trying. Okay, what should I do with the dragonfly? Hit the dragonfly. You did a good job telling. Let's see what the dragonfly had. Yeah, it's a guitar. What do you do with a guitar? You play it. You make music with it. Yeah. So can we think of the, a sentence with guitar that tells me what it does? You can say, the guitar makes music, or I play the guitar. You tell me one. Nice job telling all those sentences. So in real life, we don't want to hit all the bugs with the fly swatter. The fly swatter is just for flies. So if you want to draw just some black flies to practice hitting and telling me big sentences, you can do that. Parents, if you have some early learners, you can have them practice going up and down. And instead, you might want to have things that are different colors. So them working on identifying colors, you can either just draw colors on pieces of paper, or you can take objects that are certain colors and put them down. So I have a red one. I'm going to take the top of a Play-Doh for yellow. I have an orange star. You can work on shapes this way, too. Um, let's see. I have a pink pig. I have a green grasshopper. So you want to limit it depending on your child's needs. So a lot might be working at two. So you could tell them, hit red, red. Or you can tell them, find red, down, take it up, off, put red on, put down, on red. Ooh, can you find yellow? Put on yellow. So that way you can incorporate up, 
down, on, off, and identifying colors. If they're not ready for those, you can just give them two choices and tell them find yellow, find red, find whatever you're working on that day, and you can tell them take it off. So then you're working on off, yellow, off, red, on. And you can have them practice putting things on and off. The fly swatter is just another way to incorporate something different. So if your child's working on language skills, we worked on categories like bugs that fly versus don't fly. Having them describe is a great way also to work on that. You can also use instead of a fly swatter, if you have a bug net, that would be good to use. Or if you don't have it at all, again, they can just use their hands. You can do a bug search and put all the bugs you draw, or if you have any plastic bugs at home, you can put them all out and they can search for them the same way that we did. Find the bug that crawls and turns into a butterfly. That'd be a caterpillar. And then have them tell you more about a caterpillar. So with using bugs, we can work on so many things like speech sounds, the multisyllabic words, having our words either pictures of their sounds or you can write down words from their word list or any of the bug packets I've sent this week and work on it that way. So let me know what you guys did to work on bugs this week. Did you do the fly swatter task? How did you modify it? Anything else I can give you for tips, let me know. Have a great day everyone.